the first type of chemical reaction is known as a combination reaction okay a combination reaction is when two or more than two elements combine together to give a single product then it is known as a combination reaction like carbon combined with oxygen to give us carbon dioxide gas now this is already balanced second we already have done h2 plus o2 giving us h2o now this equation we need to balance it and to balance it what do we have we have a two out here and a two out here now the number of hydrogens and oxygens are balanced take it so this is a combination reaction where two or more than two reactants combine together to give us a single product okay opposite of it opposite of it is a decomposition reaction in a decomposition reaction a single reactant breaks down to give us two or more products for example okay okay for let's do the types also in that okay the first type in this is a thermal decomposition in a thermal decomposition reaction we are basically using heat to break it down for example we have a calcium carbonate calcium is a ca carbonate is a co3 when we heat this compound when we are going to heat this compound it is going to give us calcium oxide plus carbon dioxide gas now again this reaction is also a balanced reaction if you look at calcium on both the sides we have one we have one carbon atom on both the sides and we have three oxygen atoms on both the sides okay the second type of decomposition reaction is our electrolysis in electrolysis what do we do is we use electricity to break it down and the example that is given in our book is we take water add a little bit of an acid to it and pass electricity through it it breaks down to give us h2 plus o2 so when we are balancing it when we are balancing it it again becomes what two out here and two out here so this is the second type of our decomposition the third type of decomposition takes place in the presence of light that is why it is either known as photo decomposition okay or decomposition or it is also known as photolysis matlab in the presence of light for example two examples are given in our book one of the example is when agbr is exposed to light then it is going to give us ag plus br2 theek hai now bromine on the product side is 2 and on the reactant side is 1 so we multiply it by 2 now this makes silver also 2 so we multiply the silver by 2 the other example given in the book is our agcl now you tell me agcl behaves just like agbr so in the presence of light it is going to break down and give us what um, pag plus cl3 cl2 chlorine gas is a cl2 now we need to balance it okay so if we are balancing it what happens is there are two cls out here one cl here so we multiply it by 2 but that makes silver 2 so we multiply the silver by 2 and it is balanced theek hai so one is a combination reaction the other one is a decomposition reaction the third one that we get okay the third one that we get is dependent upon the energy dependent upon what energy 
So, in terms of energy, there are two types of reaction again. The first type of reaction in terms of energy is known as an endothermic reaction. In an endothermic reaction, energy is absorbed. Energy is absorbed. Okay? For example, whatever we did in decomposition, whatever reaction we did in decomposition, look at calcium carbonate. In calcium carbonate, heat energy was absorbed to give us calcium oxide plus carbon dioxide. In decomposition of water, electricity was used to give us hydrogen and oxygen. So again, energy is being, energy is being what? Used up, absorbed. Okay. In the third that we did, AGBR, in this we used light, okay, to give us Ag and Br2. And the other one also, light energy was absorbed, okay, to give us Ag and Cl2. So now we have what? Again, we need to balance them. So let's balance it. Br is 2, so 2 multiply, 2 out here, Cl is 2, 2 multiply, Ag becomes 2, so Ag2. This is endothermic, energy is absorbed. The next one is better, exothermic. In an exothermic reaction, if in the previous one, energy is absorbed, in this energy will be? Reduced. Yes, okay, energy is produced, or energy is released in this reaction. For example, if I burn, if I burn carbon in oxygen, it is going to give me carbon dioxide and heat energy. Take it. If I burn magnesium in oxygen, it is going to give me a magnesium oxide plus heat and light energy okay so these are what these are examples of exothermic reaction now magnesium reaction is not balanced there are two oxygens out here and one oxygen here so i multiplied it by two now how many magnesiums two so i multiplied magnesium also by two so exothermic reaction is a reaction in which energy is what? Produced. Endothermic reaction is a reaction in which energy is absorbed. Okay? Now, uske baad se, the next type of reaction we have is known as a displacement reaction. Now, for displacement reaction, you need to know something that you have been doing from class 8 onwards, the metal activity series. Kind, nations, can, manage, all, zonal, feud, by, publishing, his, corruption, in huge, Argentine, okay? And then we have the gold and the platinum, okay? So we have gold and platinum. So K would stand for what? Um, potassium. Na. Sodium. Ca. Calcium. Mn. Uh, I don't have an idea. Manganese. Al. Manganese. Uh, aluminium. Okay. Zn. Zinc. Zinc, Fe, iron, iron, Sn, uh, iron, ten, Pb, uh, lead, H, hydrogen, hydrogen, Cu, copper, copper, Hg, uh, mercury, okay, Ag, uh, silver, yeah, Au. Gold. Gold and PT. 
Platinum. Platinum. Okay. okay. Now, this type of reaction says that, this type of a reaction says that the more reactive element, the more reactive element displaces, okay, displaces the less reactive element displaces the less reactive element from its salt solution okay from its what from its salt solution okay now for example if we have a reaction like this uh, fe plus cu SO4. Now look at Fe and look at Cu. Fe is here, Cu is here. Who is more reactive? Iron. So iron can displace copper and it can become Fe SO4 plus Cu. Take it. But if I wrote the reaction in the opposite manner, Cu plus Fe SO4. Now, look at Cu and look at Fe. Again, Fe is more reactive. So, copper being less reactive cannot displace. Okay. So, the less, less reactive can never displace. So in this case of in this case we have no reaction. Take it. Yeah. Now the next type of reaction that we have is a double displacement reaction. Is which reaction? Double displacement. Yes. Okay. So we have a double displacement reaction. And in a double displacement reaction, the elements exchange their position. Elements exchange their position. Okay, so if I take a salt solution of, let's say, sodium sulfate, okay, if I took a salt solution of sodium sulfate, and I reacted it with barium chloride. Now, see, this is how it will be given in your exam. And then they'll ask you, okay, what is happening? Okay. So, if we write this down in the form of an equation, sodium sulfate is Na2SO4. Barium chloride is a BaCl2. Now, the ions are going to interchange the position. Na is going to come in the place of Ba and Ba is going to come in the place of Na. Now, from the reaction itself, I can see that sodium covalency is a 1, sulfate covalency is a 2, barium covalency is a 2, and chloride covalency is a 1. Now, my product is sodium chloride, aega, valency 1 and 1. Barium sulfate aega, valency 2 and 2. Okay, so what will be the formula for sodium chloride? Sodium chloride. Yeah, NH2. and barium sulfate? BASO4. BASO4. Now we need to balance them. Right? Now we need to do what is balance. We have an Na as a 2 and a Cl as a 2. We put a 2 out here. It is balanced. Now, this, this type of a reaction is a double displacement reaction. And here, there is a formation of a precipitate also. So, this is also known as a precipitation reaction also. Take it. Now. Ab beta iske baad se aapke paas aega. The next type of reaction is known as a redox reaction. The name itself is saying that in this type of a reaction, reduction and oxidation 
takes place simultaneously. Now, what is the meaning of reduction? The meaning of reduction is when there is a gain of hydrogen atom by a substance. Okay. Now, this will be opposite. This will be loss of hydrogen atom. Okay. Number two, when there is a loss of oxygen atom, then it is known as reduction. But when there is a gain of oxygen atom, it is known as oxidation. Number three, when there is a gain of electrons, it is known as reduction, but loss of electrons is known as oxidation. Now, let's take the example that's given in your book. Let's say a copper, okay, is combining with oxygen, okay, to give us a copper oxide. Take a balance kar diya gaya. Okay, or I'll I'll take a different one. Let, let's say. Okay, wait. I'm taking a um, let's say we have a copper sulfide plus oxygen giving us a copper oxide plus sulfur dioxide. Okay. Ab beta. अब यहां पे अगर आप देखोगे यहां पे अगर आप देखोगे कॉपर सल्फाइड हैज बिकम कॉपर ऑक्साइड आई हैव नॉट बैलेंस्ड इट ठीक है सो इट इज अ गेन ऑफ ऑक्सीजन एंड गेन ऑफ ऑक्सीजन इज नोन एज ऑक्सीडेशन ठीक है सो so, किस चीज का ऑक्सीडेशन हुआ व्हाट इज माय सब्सटेंस ऑक्सीडाइज्ड my substance oxidized is Cu2S. Yeah. Okay. And then, and then we have our, we have our, this. Uh, where is it? Uh, loss of oxygen. Pe hoga? Okay, this, okay, this is gain of oxygen. Okay, I can show it to you by electrons, but it is not given in that form. So I'll come to another reaction where we have, let's say, nitrogen gas plus hydrogen gas gives us ammonia okay to balance it i put a two here okay on ammonia so nitrogen becomes two nitrogen is balanced but hydrogen has become six so i put a three here now if you look into this equation nitrogen to become ammonia it has gained hydrogen and gain of hydrogen is known as reduction. Gain of hydrogen is known as what? Reduction. So what is the substance reduced? The substance reduced is nitrogen. Now, remember one more thing. Whatever is the substance oxidized, the substance oxidized is always the reducing agent, is always the reducing agent. And the substance that is reduced, okay, will always be our oxidizing agent. Will always be our which agent? Oxidizing agent. For example, nitrogen is the substance reduced. So the substance reduced becomes what? Substance reduced becomes what? Oxidizing agent. Okay. And upper wale equation may we had seen ki sul copper sulfide is the substance oxidized. So this will become what? Reduced agent. Exactly, the reducing agent. Take care. So this is how, this is how, you know, what happens is we look at a redox reaction. Now, the next topic, okay, is our, the